Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we're talking all about distressed t-shirt graphics. Now this timeless design trick can help give your graphics that vintage vibe or help improve the feel of large, solid areas of ink coverage so your prints are a little bit more comfortable to wear. Now we're gonna take a look at the five different distressing textures that you could add to your artwork with just a couple clicks, as well as some tips and tricks for adding custom textures to your designs. Ready? Let's get to it. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We are kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Regardless of if you're designing with a huge catalog of customizable artwork and are free, easy view online designer, or if you're uploading your own custom artwork, you could use the same method here to add some distressing to your designs. So let's hop on over to transferexpress.com and get started. Now, once we are here at transferexpress.com, we could click on order transfers or this online designer button right here at the top of the page to jump into the designer. Now, Easy View Online Designer is an incredibly powerful tool for apparel decorators because it gives you the ability to create professional designs quickly and efficiently, regardless of your skill level or experience with Photoshop or Illustrator. Just like we're doing here, we could browse the layouts, select one we like, and then customize it. Now, not only can we adjust text and change the fonts if we want, but we could also modify the designs with just a few clicks. Here, we'll bring a panther mascot into our layout right in the center of the design to replace the number that was here. Now, next up, let's add those distressing effects. All we have to do is click here on the left side in the edit menu and click add next to distress. That's going to open up our full selection of our textures. Here we've got five different types to choose from. Some subtle and some a little bit more noticeable. You could easily change the effect by repeating the same process and selecting a new texture to find one that you like best. Or clicking clear distress at the bottom of the menu to remove all distressing from your artwork. Now the rain effect here is a nice vertical line distress that's not too destructive. Fine text might be in the danger zone of being legible, but it's not too disruptive. Here on our full size graphic, everything looks fantastic. Splatter here, on the other hand, has some large spots of distressing that are going to knock out a little bit more ink. This great, stylized looking texture should be used primarily for graphics with no small details or fine text. So it's gonna work best with those big, bold fonts and solid ink areas to not disrupt uh, the fine details of your artwork too much. Although here with our text and thin lines, we could still read everything even with some of the spots removed. Next up, grunge. A little bit heavier than the rain, grunge is a more pronounced distressed effect for that real world worn in vintage look. Again, pretty ideal for bolder graphics with large areas of ink coverage, but it could dramatically change the way that any ink feels on the garment, giving it much more room to breathe and move with the fabric. Leather effect brings another style of linear distressing to the artwork, this time with a little bit finer lines than grunge or rain. Now this one gives your prints that almost natural, crackled look across the entire graphic for a nice, kind of uniform texture here. Now lastly, we do have crackled. This effect is probably the closest you could get to a natural looking worn Plastisol t-shirt print. That's uh, been around the block a few times. With areas of ink missing that mimic t-shirt folds and uh, say regular wear, not only are there larger areas in this natural pattern, but there's also tiny little small elements of ink being knocked out, which does give it that great real deal natural look. Now we mentioned fine details or small text with some of these styles, but one nice tip to keep in mind here is that you could remove the distressing effect just on specific elements. It's real easy as long as you have Easy Prints artwork from the designer or your own vector artwork. Just click the element you want to remove the distressing from and then click clear over here in the effects section of the edit menu where we selected our texture in the first place. 
with one simple click. It's easy to remove and even reapply if needed by just clicking apply to select it. Now these textures do vary from screen to finished print, which you may have noticed earlier. Now here you could see examples of all of these different effects on screen versus the finished t-shirts to get a good idea of how there may be some subtle differences in the textures themselves. Now, if you're worried about an area of your design getting a big chunk of ink knocked out or removed by the distress, you could note your order to say, be sure distressing does not remove text or whatever you want and our artists are going to make it happen for you. Of course, if you want to get creative and don't want to roll with any of these standard distressing options, you can manually add distressing with clip art that's available here in the designer. Just search distress or splatter in the clip art library, import a texture you like, and then just change the ink color to show through or no ink. Now that's gonna remove the ink on your print exactly how it's placed and appears on screen. There will be no minor variances here. Now one graphic design tip when doing this is to rotate the texture overlay anytime you duplicate it to cover another section of your artwork. That way it's gonna look much more natural and your eye isn't drawn to the repeating sections here and there. Now it's worth a mention too, that it's best to add distressing when you're finished with your design. If you add effects, then continue to add more elements around here on your gang sheet as you're building it, you may run into a little bit of lag with the system as it's reconfiguring that distressing overlay every time you're modifying any design elements. Now these effects for this video were printed with our Goof Proof screen printed transfers, which are Plastisol ink transfers that look and feel like a traditional screen print on the garment. I love them because they give you the screen printed quality without the hassle of inks, emulsion, squeegees, setup, messy cleanup, or anything else that comes with traditional direct screen printing. Now, of course, you could use this effect on other transfers as well, like our Ultra Color Pro or Ultra Color Stretch transfers. Now, for our direct to film Ultra Color Max transfers, distressing is kind of a no go. A lot of times, it's going to create some fine areas that are going to be too small to receive adhesive. And we do not recommend distressing textures on direct to film prints but you could get your own free distressed sample pack right here or in the link down in the description to try out all of these different textures yourself with your heat press. So get your sample pack and start creating artwork in the designer right now. Easy View is completely free to use. All you need is a Transfer Express account. Seriously, it's just free and go sign up. You get to poke around in there right now. You are going to be blown away by the capabilities of this online designer. But be sure to subscribe here to the Transfer Express YouTube page and smash that like button to stay up to date on all of the helpful t-shirt printing tips, tricks, inspiration, and education that we're dropping every single week. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing. Bye.